Yo, what's up? This is Sonny from Sunny Eat Well Club with another locale get you rip meal. What we're gonna do tonight, we're gonna do a chicken pot pie. All right, so this is what I've got going here. Um, if you wanna use the fresh vegetables, go ahead and do that. I don't waste the time with the fresh vegetables, but you can. So what I did, I went to the local supermarket, okay, and I got a bag of mixed vegetables, okay, and uh, what I did is I, I let them get room temperature, so uh, they're not frozen. I let them, once they're room temperature, I've got two tablespoons, three tablespoons of grapeseed oil in here, heating up, and remember I said grapeseed oil, don't break down to trans fat. So okay, different types of mixed vegetables you can get frozen. This happened, I liked it because it had uh, string beans in it, it had onions in it, carrots in it. Um, so I cut up some fresh mushrooms in there, cauliflower, it's got some zucchini in there. So that's up to you. Whatever you want to do in this chicken pot pie, it's it's fine. All right? And then I I got a ch um, two chicken tenders, nice big chicken tenders. All I did was boil them, did that ahead of time, all right, and cut it up. So I've got this heating up a little bit like this, okay? And what we're going to do is going to take this mixture right here, and we're going to throw it right in. Okay, and wh what we want to do is we just want to just saute this a little, little bit. Go. Okay, I've got this uh, sauteing a little bit here now for about, I'm going to say five minutes. It all depends. This is, happens to be a gas stove, electric, it might be different. We're going to put a little salt and pepper on it. Remember, no salt, sodium free to your taste. Okay, and a little pepper here to your taste. All right, now the, quick, the chicken already that I told you that all I did was boil it and cut it up. We're going to throw that right in now. This is a simple one, two, three chicken pot pie, cut the calories down. I'm gonna to talk to you about that later on in the show. Let's just give this a mix. Now don't forget, we're gonna put this in the oven so it doesn't have to stay that long here. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do is, I bought fat, um, what is it called? 98% uh, fat-free cream of chicken soup. Whatever brand you buy, buy the brand that's got the less sodium, the less sugar in it, and the less calories in it. It depends what store you're gonna to go to look at it. Okay, we're gonna throw this right into the mixture. Get that all right out there, get it out. Okay, I'm gonna put a tiny bit of water in here. And before I put that in, I just wanna stir this up. Stir it up here, mix this all up together. And like I said, you don't have to worry about if it's, is it cooked enough, cause it's gonna go into the oven. Let's do this here nicely here like this. Get it all mixed up. I wish you could smell how, how good this is. And where do you find out the difference in the um, calories? Okay, so we're gonna let that cook a little bit more. I'm gonna put a little bit of the water in to get the rest of this out. Stir it up here. And like I said, it's gonna go in the oven, so don't worry, is it cooked it up? It's not, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. So, I'm gonna shut that off. All right, put this over there a minute. Move this here. Now, I kinda like these plates here. You could use um, aluminum tin to throw out, but this is a nice size. This is a nice size, what I like. Um, like I said, it's not a lot, but it's enough. So we're gonna take this like this. Now you got a lot here. I'm gonna pour, put this right inside here like that. Look how nice this looks, and it's really, really colorful, really, Great. Now, if you make a lot of this, you can make two of these, you can freeze it, okay? For the show here, I just made enough for, for one. And I want you to preheat your oven, okay, to uh, 400, and we're going to cook this for 30 minutes, and in between that, of course, I want you to turn it. And do not cover it, okay? So let's get this all in. Now... That looks good there. Okay, let's put this over to the side. All right, now, next thing what we're gonna do, okay, uh, I bought a whole wheat pie crust. Uh, that's the easiest and best way to go. Uh, they come frozen, I had it in the refrigerator for about a half hour, so let me take that right out here now. Okay, this is a whole wheat, and I'm gonna show you how this is gonna work. 
Okay, so what I did, I turned this over. Okay, now what we're gonna do, my hands have been washed, they're nice and clean. You're gonna get a couple little cracks in it, that's okay. And we wanna take our knife and just trim this. Doesn't have to be perfect, because it's gonna go in the oven. Okay, take your knife, cut the ends of it off here. We'll put this over to the side. And like I said, if you're gonna do two of them, okay, you, you, you might need this. Now, let's say you have a little piece like this and you really want it to make it look nice. You, you take a little about this, and you can go like this, put it on. But we don't have to. I'm gonna take my fork, put around the edges like this, turn it around. My oven has been preheated. Okay, now, very important too, my hands, like I told you, have been washed. We've got this on here like this. I wanna take a little of egg and do a little bit of an egg wash on here, like, like so. Could use a brush. Like I said, I wash my hands, they're clean. This is a faster, faster way of doing it. Okay, so I'm gonna put this over to the side. I got my tray over here. And don't forget, when you take this out of the oven, make sure you use pot holders. Let's put this in. Okay, and we'll let this cook. All right, I've turned out already. Okay, like I said, for 30 minutes, it's gotta go in there. I waited about 15 minutes and gave it a little turn, and don't forget, do not cover it. All right, now, I'm gonna take this out, make sure you use your pot, your pot, your, your pot holders. All right, so I'm gonna take this out of the oven, make sure you use your pot holders. It's gonna be hot. Let's be real careful with this. Okay, I'm gonna take this out like this. I'm gonna talk about this. Put this over to the side. All right, now, brand that you see all over the stores, Banquet, Swanson, whatever it might be, Mrs. Paul's, Mrs. Smith, whatever it is. I'm not saying they're not good, but I'm saying they're high in calories. So let's take this Banquet chicken pie, all right? This pie comes into 350 calories, all right? Now, look at the size of this. With the vegetables, with the um, whole wheat bread um, pie crust, um, with the chicken soup, the cream of chicken soup. Okay, this whole thing only comes into 165 calories. So I want to get a spoon. I want to show you what this looks like. And we'll open this up, and just so you could see. Now don't forget, this is going to be a little hot, but here, here it is. Look, look at this. We've got our nice homemade chicken pot pie, and don't make a mess like I did, okay? That's low in calories. Tastes good, is good. A meal that's going to make you feel good for the winter, comfort food, and you're going to love it. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm the real deal when it comes to weight loss meals. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe.